money 1911 here. I meant to make only one video about the concealed carry class, but I spent so much time talking about all the uh, instructor's guns on display that I decided to split that part off. So now I should say a little more about the course itself. It's supposed to be uh, here in Tennessee, about an eight-hour experience overall. In my case, there was uh, roughly four hours, I guess, of classroom time, more or less. And uh, at the end of that, there was a written test, uh, multiple choice questions, some true and false questions. It's a state written test, not something the instructor made up. I missed one out of, I don't know, 30 or 33 questions, more or less. There were three points each. You had to score a 70 in order to pass. And uh, the woman's test I corrected actually got pretty close to failing, amazingly enough. Missed seven or eight questions, but uh, most anybody should be able to do it. And uh, written part in class, that was part number one. Covering some basic uh, form and function of revolvers and semi-automatic handguns, as well as some basic safety rules, and uh, some notions of how you should behave with a concealed carry weapon, what your rights and uh, responsibilities are. Then it's on to the shooting portion of the class. We had uh, two groups of 12. So uh, this is the first group. I was in the second group and uh, showed you a clip uh, from some of the shooting going on during that. It gets pretty loud, doesn't it? Everybody's shooting all at once in the indoor range. Um, you have 20 shots at 3 yards, 20 shots at 5 yards, and 10 shots at uh, seven yards. So this is uh, three yards here, nine feet. Not too tough. So there's my Walther PPK set up with uh, five rounds in the magazine, first five rounds to shoot at uh, three yards. So you shoot at a human silhouette. It's only about half size, though you'll see later I'll hold it up uh, next to me so you can see how large it is to scale. And uh, it's pretty easy, the test. You really have to work hard to uh, fail this one. Any shot within the seven ring counts for two points. And any shot that hits the silhouette um, outside the seven ring is one point. You get 50 shots total. Uh, again, it's 20 at three yards. 20 at 5 yards and 10 at 7 yards. You have to get 70 points total. So all you have to do to get a perfect 100 is to get all 50 of your shots uh, inside the 7 ring. Here are my 20 shots at 3 yards. I'm no expert marksman, but uh, punching a nice hole in the orange area there in the center. Here's the firing line backed up to 5 yards or 15 feet. Here are the results, adding another 20 shots at 5 yards, starting to stray outside the orange there. The firing line then moves back to 20 feet for 10 last shots. Check out this older gentleman here with a 22 target pistol. I think it may be a Browning Buckmark if I'm not mistaken. It's a, a bigger gun than you'd want to carry and underpowered compared to what you'd probably want to carry. But as you can see, he totally killed it here all 50 shots in the orange. In contrast, here are my final results. Uh, despite the scatter there, they're all within the seven ring, which makes that a perfect score of 
100. So there you have it. To get a concealed carry permit in the state of Tennessee, you have to find an accredited class, maybe up to an eight hour experience or so, maybe shorter if they can get through it more quickly. There's a lecture time, there's a written test, easy to pass, shooting test, easy to pass. The uh, next step is that you go fill out an application at the DMV. Um, it's similar, has some questions similar to the background check it takes to buy a gun. And uh, you pay a $120 fee or so, $119, something like that. And uh, then you'll go get fingerprinted at a separate place, separate location. You got to make an appointment for that. And then wait, it's supposed to come within three months. The gun I used uh, for the shooting portion of the concealed carry class, as you saw briefly earlier, was this Walther PPK, which is the uh, gun that's the most concealable I have at the moment. It's uh, probably not the one I'll end up carrying by the time my license comes. For one thing, for the caliber it is, 380. It's uh, a little big by modern standards. It's really pushing the limit as far as a pocket gun goes. And for inside the waistband, um, you could fit something with more power, more rounds, and say a 9mm or more. So it's kind of in between size-wise. And also it's a uh, standard blued, which you can expect to have some holster wear. And this being such an iconic firearm, probably want to keep it in pretty nice condition. So we'll probably be looking for something else to carry on a daily basis. Stay tuned, and uh, when it arrives, we'll let you know what that is. That's how it's done.